Welcome back to another video. It's your boy EJ. I'm walking Zeus and Katana right now. This will be a future breeding one day. If you gonna piss me off enough. This will be a future breeding one day, y'all. So make sure you tap in at 206-499-0422. This will be a future breeding. Will be, for sure. If I don't sell Zeus, Zeus be pissing me off. Zeus one of them dogs, right? You gotta just like them. You know what I'm saying? Some dogs just I ain't got it there meant to. Like, I ain't saying he's aggressive, nothing like that. He just, you know, some dogs just annoy you. Like, when you get to become an older person, you have a lot of kids and stuff like that, and you got plenty of kids and that, it's gonna be one of your kids that just annoy you. You know what I'm saying? And he's just one of my babies that just annoy me a little bit. That's all it is. Do I love him? Of course I do. Of course I do. Do we get on my nerves sometimes? Mm, not that often, honestly. But yeah, sometimes you do. Only because you've been around me long enough to know what I do and what I don't like. You know what I'm saying? So that's my only problem with you, bro. Like, bro, you know me, bro. Like right now, he pulling me. And I don't got the choker chain on because it'd be easier to correct it. It just, since I moved here, I start, once I moved here and start having them litters, I kind of start neglecting how, you know, how much time I spend with him as far as getting him trained. So when I do put him on the leash, he just be so excited to be out. Um, hey, he just be so excited to be out. That he just does whatever. And what I mean by that is, he just pulling me. You know, and it's not gonna be like this every time I walk him. It's not gonna be like this if I walk him off. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you don't walk your dogs that often. You don't spend a lot of time with them. They, um, they kind of just go back to being just dogs. You know what I'm saying? And dogs want to explore animals like of this caliber. Even human beings love to explore. You know, some dogs are just not really caring about that, but this is just one of them dogs that just want to go, you know what I'm saying? Zeus! 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 See his tail tucking? Because I'm calling his name like that. Yo, yo. Bro, stop pulling me, bro. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a regular walk, buddy. See, I didn't need to whoop on him. Come on, this way. This what I do not want them to. Walk oh, this way. Okay, yeah. This is what's going on. Katana, stay on this side. Jesus, it's like they want to split you. Come on. Turn up. Let's go. That's the only thing about these boogies, bro. You walk them, once they full grown and stuff like that, of course the younger ones, and of course Junior has a better nasal, he has a longer, a longer face. And then, um, Zeus, let's go. Here's a face in Zeus so he can breathe a lot better. How you doing? Hello. Come on, she almost failed. Here's a longer face so he can breathe a little bit better. Let's go. 
Что? So right now, dudes is probably like this is almost tapped out as far as just like being exhausted. Just gonna slow down, walking. It got slower. He's not really pulling as much. I did just get on his ass, so it could be right there, but. It don't take long. Come on, Katana. It don't take long to, uh, to wear these. Just bring it out. If I had both hands, I could do this a lot easier. But I know you guys um, love when I drop content. I'm trying to... I know y'all be bored on YouTube, be bored at the house, and y'all need something to watch, so... I guess I'll give y'all something to watch. Zeus has a son, Zico. He was the first pick. And that dude's head is literally insane. It's funny seeing um, Katana. She's still having mature yet as far as her face and her chest and her, her hips haven't really just matured yet. Um, it's funny seeing how she looks, bro. She came the wrong way. Sorry for the video, guys. I'm trying to walk, not fall over a katana, because katana steady walking in front of me. There you go, go on that side, Zeus. Okay, back over here. Zeus, Zeus. I gotta take um, Katana, uh, uh, I gotta adjust Katana collar cause she's gotten thicker since I put it on her. And I can tell that it's a little tight. She has a lot of loose skin on her neck, so it's not choking her or nothing like that. But I can tell that it's holding up the skin a little bit. So I'm gonna adjust that um, when I get to the house. Just loosen it up probably about two, about two inches. My neck has gotten bigger. She got the same size collar that uh, Zeus has on, or is just a little tighter? Because her head is not quite as big as Zeus's. Not even, not even close, but uh, she do still have a nice dome. She's not really too much big on head. But she does have a nice dome. I love the rear, and I love the temperament of these dogs. As you can see, uh, the tonic is almost, <laughs> Katana is probably a little bit taller than Zeus almost. It's looking like Katana is taller than Zeus, yeah. So Katana has more height than Zeus. Zeus is like one of the shortest of his, shortest of his offspring, of uh, his dad offspring. Cause he has, he has bigger brothers. Come on. He has bigger brothers. That's why I know like whenever Zeus throws, he always throws larger than him because he's throwing his dad. I always know he's gonna throw water at him because he's throwing his father. Like I said, I studied genetics. I didn't even care how big or how little the dog was that I got from the people I got him from because I studied their genetics and I already knew that uh, he was gonna be something special as far as what he was gonna throw. Not as far as like what he gonna look like, nothing like that. I'm not about um, what I buy, I'm about what I produce. You know what I'm saying? Come on, girl. I don't too much focus on what I buy. I always focus on what I produce. And um, I, he's out, I produce himself each time. And he's gonna continue to outproduce himself because his genetics is just, is that much far. Also, he and Katana share, um, they share genetics. They share like, a great grandfather. They sure um, one of their great grandfathers, which is odd job. See, Zeus is two times odd job. 
Patron is one time odd uh, job. So, uh, this is it together. We'll produce some big bone bulls. Very, very beautiful bulls. Great structure bulls. I love the fact that she has a little bit more height than Zeus because I like my dogs to be a little bit taller than Zeus. Not too much taller, but just a little bit taller. And as you guys know, how it goes with the dogs is it's 65% mother. You know what I'm saying? 35% father. So the fact that she's a little taller than him, she has a better snout than he does. She has better um, better joints as far as she moves better than he do. Um, she's faster than he is. But this is pretty fast, but she's faster than he is. I know for sure that these puppies will be super duper amazing. And I'm very, very excited. And shout out, shout out my brother, man, the Heaven Sent Bullies for, um, for putting, you know, me and him made a great deal with Katana. And shout out my brother, man, for, uh, for letting me get her. Um, she will take my camp to another level. What y'all don't know is, is she is a very, 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 very detailed bloodline that was put together very, very special. Like, very special blood. 100 grand and Raya, like, straight direct from Bossy. Like, her mother, her dad is direct from Bossy Kennels, which is one of the leaders in this game. Very big bone blood, very beautiful coated blood. That's why her coat is super duper beautiful. Um, I don't think I have a dog in my yard that has a coat as complete as hers. Um, to add that dark color to my camp is very, very, very special. Um, they will produce some chocolate tries, which is amazing. They will produce some blue, some blue tries, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking they will produce some blue chocolate and probably some more lilac, probably a couple blacks but it's gonna be a litter full of tries. There won't be nothing else but tries in this litter. And um, I'm very, very, very excited. Very excited. Very, very excited to what uh, do not go underneath. She wanna lay down. Look, come on, come on. See, this is good exercise, man. Whenever they get to the point where whenever we stop, they just wanna lay down. That was good for both of them. Zeus is exhausted. So she's going to his kennel. I'm sure he's going to go right to sleep. So she's going to her kennel. I'm sure she's going to go right to sleep. When I get home, I will let... Come on, girl. Jeez. You tired for real. You just stopping. Um, when I get home, I'm going to let Roxy out. Let her get some yard time. I'm still... I honestly don't believe that Roxy took... Um, she hasn't shown, she hasn't shown signs of, of pregnancy yet to me. And um, for her to be this close to a due date, she don't look that big. She is bigger than she was before, but that could just be because I'm home now, spending more time with them. But she's able to eat more. She's able to be more comfortable. She's uh, in a cleaner environment. So with that being said, I just think she's picking up her normal natural weight that she would have if I... Um, if I wasn't traveling so much or if I would, if I didn't get sick. So Roxy is just coming into her adulthood. Like I told y'all, she, all these dogs are young. Like Zeus is just two. And Zeus is only literally one month younger than her. Literally, they were born the same day, a month apart. So um, I just think Roxy is just coming to her natural body, which is cool. So I'm not mad if she didn't take, I'm not mad if she's not pregnant. Everything happens at good times. So I want her to be pregnant when she's at her healthiest weight, when she's at her healthiest self, when she's at herself. So um, if she didn't take, that's perfectly fine. I think everything in the world works out how it needs to work out. I don't think every, I don't think anything in life is a failure. I don't think anything in life is, oh my God, why did that happen? Nothing like that. I just think everything we do or everything that happens shakes us and um, everything that, that happens needs to happen. So, um, I'm cool with that. So now they loose right now. I'm gonna let them run around a little bit. I doubt Zeus go too far, man. He's, as you can hear him, man. He's breathing hard. You know, he got that snorkel on him. She's breathing hard too, but she don't have the snorkel that he has. She has a, a, a longer snout, which uh, means she breathes, breathes a lot better than him. I'll catch you guys on this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, 
super excited, man, about the progress. Um, if Rossi took, then cool. If he didn't take, um, it's perfect, you know? So we're going to keep working, keep grinding, keep putting together these videos, keep putting together these dogs, getting these dogs to my liking. And um, I'm cool with that, man. As far as puppies available, I have three puppies available for $2,500 until, um, until Halloween. That's two weeks away. Um, I will get their ears cropped very soon. I've been meaning to do it, but I kind of just want to wait and see. Um, I just want to wait till they sell or to one of them sell. That way I know for sure that the the people that are buying the dog want or don't want their ears cropped. Because I've seen a lot of beautiful dogs out there that don't have ear crop. And um, I've seen a lot of people that wanted to purchase a dog, that, um, but the ears are cropped already and they don't want to have a dog with the ear crop. So I kind of want to wait. But um, if they're not sold by next week, I will be cropping all the ears. So make sure you hit me up at 206-499-0422. I will be cropping the ears Monday. So right now I'm just walking. I'm by my house. The sun is set. It's getting dark. My beautiful dogs are, are just, they're happy. I like it. He's well out. He's by me. He's ready to go way down. He's not trying to do too much. At this point, he's like, Daddy, where? It's home. And you see how she's running around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She still have a lot of energy left. That's just because she breathes better, man. She has, uh, like I said before, she's uh, she's down there. Damn near, like, if I would say, if I would give her a scale, as far as health-wise, out of 10, I would say it's probably like a nine. I would give Zeus probably like a, no, I would give her a 10, and I would give Zeus probably like an eight. Just because he snores. And he gets tired really fast, so. And I will give Roxy like a seven. That's why I put Roxy with Navy and stuff like that. Cause I already knew those parts gonna come out super duper amazing. And I know he's gonna outproduce himself. So Zeus and Roxy probably is gonna be some real big exotic bulls, big exotic XLs. I know a lot of people are looking for that. Um, a lot of people are waiting for that. So I'm excited to try to deliver that for you guys. If it won't be this heat, it will be the next heat. Um, and then Roxy will be uh, back to herself completely as far as weight wise and, and body wise and everything else. So like I said, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Um, turn on your post notifications and follow the Instagram. I am doing a puppy giveaway on Roxy Nest Litter. You know what I'm saying? And I'm taking a Roxy, a hyena Murrow. Hyena Mur it's called a chocolate Murrow, but I call it hyena. And I've seen people use that slogan too, like calling their dogs with that same coat hyena. I started that. That came from me. That came from NBF EJ. If you ever see somebody saying calling their chocolate Murrow hyena, they got that from me, okay? Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. As you guys know, I'm one of the leaders in this dog world, whether people admit it or not. But I know you guys watch me. I know a lot of y'all watch me. I've posted videos, I've done videos, and I got on YouTube, and a day or two later, I'm seeing um, the same type of content that I've already put out there into the world, which means I'm doing something right if I'm being copied. And I don't mind being copied, I don't mind doing that. That means I'm doing something right. And I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate everybody for watching, tuning in. Other YouTube breeders, other dog breeders are tuning in. They're watching, they're getting information. They're learning from me. I'm learning from them. And we all a family, man. I don't hate on nobody. When everybody works together, it's enough money. It's enough it's enough time for all of us to, to do the right thing and learn and grow this breed the right way. So I'll catch you guys on this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow the Instagram for a chance to win a free dog in $1,000. That $1,000 will get you a kennel. I will buy your kennel. I will buy your dog house. I will have you set up. For your dog, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hey, buddy.